Hi boys and girls. It's nice to see you today. I have a couple of cow books. We've been talking about farm animals this week, so I got cows. Now I have two books to read to you, and then if you'll wait until 3.30 at the end, we're going to share a link, and you will get to see some new baby calves that have been born at the Bar H Bar Ranch. I think you're going to like it a lot. The voice that you'll hear is Mrs. Fulmer. She is my daughter, Summer, and she was the the video videographer on it and my grandson Guy is the teacher and he teaches us all about cows so I think you're gonna want to see that okay let's read our first two books okay the cow loves cookies I'm new at this so I might be a little bit wobbly so bear with me okay the Cow Loves Cookies by Karma Wilson. Whenever farmer feeds the horse, he feeds the horsey hay, of course. The horse just loves to nibble hay. He eats it every single day. But the cow loves cookies. Farmer knows what chickens need. He always gives them chicken feed. They scratch and cluck and peck all day. They love their feed. The horse loves hay. But the cow loves cookies. The farmer feeds the geese each morn. He always gives them sweet cracked corn. They honk for joy and flap their wings. They love the corn that farmer brings. Hay for horses, yes indeed. Give those chickens chicken feed. Corn for geese, they love it so. But when it comes to cows, we know. The cow loves cookies. When farmer feeds the hogs their slop, slop, they love to eat that gooey glop. They oink and snort and they grunt with glee. They eat like pigs, it seems to me. Of course we know the horse loves hay, and chickens love their feed each day. Geese love corn, as all geese should. The pigs think slop is mighty good. But cow would never eat that stuff. You couldn't pay the cow enough because the cow loves cookies. Farmer's dog just loves to eat when farmer gives him doggy treats. He gulps and gobbles with delight. He savors every meaty bite. Hay is what the horsey needs. The chickens all eat chicken feed. The geese munch corn, it tastes so fine. The hogs think slop is just divine. The dog adores his doggy treats, but cow would rather eat things sweet. So why does the cow love cookies? She and farmer made a deal and every day they share a meal. Farmer packs a picnic lunch and when the two sit down to munch, he takes cookies from a tin and cow gives milk to dunk them in. Yum, says farmer. Cow says moo. Cow is happy. Farmer too. They both love milk and cookies. But the duck loves quackers. That's a fun book. Okay. Our next book is about a cow that laid an egg by Andy Cutbill. 
I love the cover of this book. Here we go. Let's see if I got it upside down. I can't tell. It's just full of cow spots. Here we go. The Cow That Laid an Egg by Andy Cutbill. Marjorie the cow felt down in the dumps. What's wrong, Marge? clucked the chickens. Poor Marjorie. I don't feel special, said Marjorie. I can't ride bicycles and do handstands like the other cows. I just feel so ordinary. That night, the chickens hatched a cunning plan. The following morning, there was an almighty commotion in the barnyard. I've laid an egg, cried Marjorie. All the other cows were astonished. None of them had ever laid an egg before. The farmer's wife called the newspaper. The farmer shrieked. Oh my goodness, Marjorie's laid an egg. People came from far and wide. We're extremely proud of Marjorie, the farmer said. Marjorie felt much more special now. And the chickens were pleased as punch too. But the other cows weren't so happy. Our bicycle riding and handstands feel rather ordinary now. Something funny's going on. Cows don't lay eggs. Chickens lay eggs. Hmm. Oh, looks like they're coming in to tell off Marjorie. Okay. We don't think you laid that egg, the cow said to Marjorie. We think the crafty chickens did it. Marjorie was shocked. Prove it, said the chickens. So they all waited for the egg to hatch. Day after day they watched as Marjorie sat on the egg to keep it warm, but nothing. Until suddenly one morning they heard a noise. Tap, tap, tap. Here it comes, shouted one of the cows. And as Marjorie stood up, Oh, what's going to happen? The egg cracked open and out popped a small brown feathery bundle. Ha! said one of the cows nodding. A chicken. Suddenly the tiny creature looked up at Marjorie. Moo, it said loudly. My baby! Marjorie smiled and held her baby tight. A cow, she said, and she promptly named it Daisy. The end. That was a great story, huh? Okay, now wait at 3.30 and you'll get a link for this very fun video and you'll get to see the new baby cows out at the Bar H Bar Ranch right here outside of Soda. We miss you guys. See you later.